You're up, baby. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing well. What's good up, stuff? man? Not much, not much. We got, uh, you know, we got Z Farls here, uh, Zach Farley. We're here to talk a little bit about face of the franchise, QB1 today, and some of the franchise updates coming to Madden 20. So really excited about that. Go ahead and give people a little look into what the stream is going to be about today, you know, why we're here, why we're doing this, and whatnot. Yeah, so we're actually taking over a hallway here at Tiburon. There's developers here that are still live working right now on this. Uh, everything you're going to see tonight is work in progress, of course, but we're really excited to bring you this information. Uh, we actually have developers, we have the creative director, we have senior designer, the lead of the franchise mode, but everybody's here, everybody's working, and uh, we're excited to show you some a little bit more behind the scenes tonight. Uh, we do these streams every day, for those of you folks that don't know. I know the Ultimate Team community knows us here. We do Madden Daily Drops, but sure. you know we're going to get some new viewers tonight that are franchise mode fans, and they're coming out, and they're going to get some great information, and they might be confused, like, who are we? What do we do? Why does it look... You know, we're just here to give you guys the info that we feel the community needs, and that's what Agent K does, and that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to leave because no one can give you better information than the actual developers themselves, but we'll be taking your questions in the chat and uh, kind of recapping everything we've seen and some stuff to look forward to. So that's the purpose of this. That's the goal. It's to give you all the details, everything you need to know, and then follow up with you and get those questions. So yeah. we're here to have a good time. Good stuff. And, you know, I've already noticed this, the stream is already going off the rails right now because that title is incorrect. I mean, I think they put, like, a really – like technical title. Can we, can, Gibbs, can, can yeah, we get a, that, that fixed? That seems made up. Yeah, there we go. Thank there you. There we go. We Thank got you. Z Farls, man of the people here, and uh, Kralo. We're going to go ahead and uh, bring on some of the developers here. Um, cr our creative director, Mike Young, as well as our uh, senior designer, uh, Hugh Shelton. We'll talk a little bit about, uh, again, uh, QB1, face of the franchise, and franchise updates. Yeah, and if you think about what we've seen so far with Madden 20 at the NFL draft, you know, Patrick Mahomes was announced, Aaron Donald's a Madden ambassador. He brings superstar X-Factors to the table. Uh, he'll be on the defensive side of the ball, tearing it up. So we've seen that. We saw the Pro Bowl screenshot. We've seen Patrick Mahomes. He's got you know, a cannon arm. He's got lots going on. We're going to talk about that in upcoming streams. You see right there, Kamara. And then, of course, Juju is back at it. Yeah. Steelers fan. I think the creative director may have said, let's get some more Steelers <laughs> out in there. You got a cover athlete last year. But you know, for those of you that didn't that missed that, or or what exactly do you do in Superstar QB? We're going to dive into the details, but as you know, you create that quarterback, you pick from one of those ten schools, you dominate the college football playoff, get to the draft, finally get into the league, get into that franchise mode, and more details coming up on that. So these are the ten schools. This is just kind of recapping, getting everybody up to speed, for sure, making sure we're all starting on even uh, footing before we dive real deep into what's going on and get the actual good stuff. Uh, tonight. Yeah, and we'll follow up with the stream with some gridiron notes. If you guys haven't been following that, there's a deep dive article about what we're talking about today. We'll also be on Madden Daily Drops tomorrow morning at 1030 Eastern to walk through any kind of questions that you guys might have in the chat. We'll talk a little bit more about that at the very end of the stream on how you can go ahead and get us that information so we can go ahead and answer those questions for you. So I've already streamed once today. I'm not going to stay here. <laughs> what I do want to see, though, is the upcoming uh, stream schedule. So show us in the future where can people can watch more. And when we come back, we'll, of course, have Mike Young. So we're going to leave this up. I'm heading out, and Agent K will deliver this to you tonight. But don't forget, if you know you love franchise mode, but also we got the Ultimate Team community. They're going to come back in two weeks. Uh, Superstar X Factor, Gameplay, and then Madden Mobile. So these are the dates you want to bookmark, you want to follow the channel, you want to hit the bell, you want to get the notifications. For sure. And, of course, we'll follow up uh, all week with our daily morning stream. So totally up to, to you guys here. But we appreciate you tuning in tonight for Franchise. And uh, Mike Young will be back. I'm out. All right, looks like we're back right here right now. We got Mike Young, the creative director for Madden. Uh, thank you so much for taking some time to come out here and talk to the community about Face of the Franchise QB1. Uh, really excited about this uh, career yeah. campaign. And, uh, you know, uh, how, how you been, man? Busy. We're doing a lot of cool stuff. Uh, X Factors, uh, Face of the Franchise. So lots to talk about with okay. Madden. All right, well, let's get into it. Uh, first off, uh, we're gonna talk about Face of the Franchise. You're gonna go ahead and pick your school. Um, that's one of those things, and we'll go ahead and take a look right here. We have a little animation, uh, very fresh, very modern. I will say Madden 20 and the uh, 
creative design is really, really nice and modern, which is really exciting, kind of pop and feel to it. Yeah, I mean, that was a big focus for us to make a more, I don't know, youthful, exciting, modern Madden. Uh, you'll notice a lot of our screens, you know, the helmets are off, players are showing emotion. You've got Juju, you've got Patrick Mahomes. Uh, these are the new young faces of the league. They're personable, they're exciting. They're great players, but they seem to enjoy it. Yeah, for um, sure. And that's what the new Madden is all about. Yeah, no, I mean, hey, if you're a superstar, act like a superstar, feel like a superstar, very authentic. So let's go ahead and talk right here. We have a screenshot. Uh, you know, when you go into Face of the Franchise uh, QB1, you're going to go ahead and choose your school. Walk, walk me through the screenshot right here. Yeah, so one of the cool things about Face of the Franchise is it is a story about personalizing your journey to the NFL. Um, you know, we did long shot a couple years ago. We had Texas and Oregon in there, but the disappointing thing for our fans was that it wasn't you. Yeah. And you never really played with Texas and Oregon. So this is an experience where people are going to get to choose one of these 10 schools, play through this past year's national championship, um, the playoff in Dallas. Hopefully they get to Santa Clara for okay. the national championship. There's no guarantees. Um, so this is, you know, you're playing full games your guy is the face of that team. He's kind of the Car Cardell Jones okay. storyline where he's a super talented player who is thrust into the limelight. You know, can he step up and um, put himself in the conversation for uh, that year's draft? So could he springboard by playing well into being drafted alongside Kyler Murray, um, Drew Locke, we want him in that conversation. That's awesome. And I know once you do that, you're going to go ahead and kind of create your QB face um, right here. And there's going to be some basic settings and some advanced settings. So here's some screens if you want to talk a little bit about that and, and the idea behind it. Yeah, I mean, we wanted this mode is really about feeling like you are in the story. Got it. And if you can't create somebody that looks like you, it doesn't yeah. feel like you. You know, you're just picking somebody so in the last few years I think with Madden you're really just picking a generic head and you couldn't modify it at all so uh, we're building a whole suite of tools to allow you to really craft somebody that looks like you hairstyles beards you know nose shape nose length mouth shape you know all, all this cool stuff to make it feel personal you can even change your voice okay good yeah. stuff right so there. cycle through and find a voice that's um, you feel is yours and I think one thing we're really doing is that's cool is you don't spend time in menus making these choices. You're, it's part of the story. It's all woven in. All these choices feel like dynamic um, story moments like you might see in like a Fallout game. You know, it's, yeah. it's a cool way to present it. No, I love it. I love it. You know, I, I know like, um, you know, at the end of the day, when you kind of enter into this career campaign, you want to be you. You know, you want to represent who you are and kind of have that look and that feel um, and everything like that. I know the next thing after this, we have another screen, is that once you kind of go ahead and do the face editing, you're going to go, you're going to be put into a situation where it's like you're going to pick your QB archetype. Can you talk a little bit about QB archetypes and what those are? Yeah, we had archetypes in the game last year, um, but this is really going to set you down your path. And I think people have heard about superstar abilities. Uh, this choice, this first choice here, is setting you down a path of the type of quarterback you want to develop into, but it's also giving you your first superstar ability. Um, and that's one of the exciting parts about this mode is this is really a campaign into a superstar mode, you know, franchise type experience where this is your journey to the NFL, but some of these choices, where you get drafted, how you play, um, what team you end up on, leads into your career. So okay. this, these first choices are actually really important if you want to go on and win Super Bowls, make the Pro Bowl, um, and it allows you to craft a character. Okay, and once you do that, what's like the next progression of that? Once, you t once you're into the franchise mode? Yeah, no, it's like when, once you go <laughs> ahead and get your QB archetype, you're going to go into your pregame your pre workout, and then, you know, what happens specifically right here? Well, one of the things we want to do is, you know, we ha we're putting you into this fiction of this current season, but mm -hmm. there are some characters that you become friends with, and one of them is a uh, wide receiver who's the top, one of the top wide receivers in college, and you go out into the stadium before the game, not in full pads, which for our Madden fans, it's kind of cool to see your player in different gear. You know, he's in uh, authentic football uh, you know, pants, but he's wearing like 
a shirt like this. Yeah, for sure. Um, Pre-game warm-up stuff. For sure. And we haven't had stuff like that, but this is a great moment for um, story experiences tend to draw in, not just you know the core audience, but they bring in more casual people who just want to play a story. So this is a great moment to either refresh your skill, your knowledge of all the things you can do as a quarterback, uh, some of the more complicated that, you know, if you're playing every three years in Madden, you might have forgotten how to th throw the ball away For to sure. avoid a sack. Yeah. So this is a great little um, story moment that allows you to kind of refresh all your skills, how to throw a high pass, how to, uh, you know, go into a run animation out of the pocket. And it's just a nice little thing. Yeah, and what, I, what I've heard is that you want to <laughs> execute on that well, you know, because it does have some impacts. Everything you do in this mode matters. It either changes the type of quarterback you are, your draft position, um, improves a relationship with the character in the storyline. Um, you know, that is one thing that we really wanted is if you have a story scene, you're making a choice and the choice matters. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, after all this, you're gonna go into your combine and like you were talking about choices, there's a lot of things that are gonna happen you know, that you're gonna have to make some tough choices and you're gonna have to make some decisions. Uh, we have some, like right here, you'll see a little screenshot, uh, a little video here of, of your NFL Combine experience, but walk me through the, the NFL Combine experience in, in uh, Face of the Franchise. Well, I mean, one thing you want, and I think you've been cut off the camera there. I've been cut off the camera. <laughs> hey. He's back. Hey. Great. <laughs> I can't talk to a ghost, you know. Um, Classic. So the combine experience, again, was meant to make you feel like you were competing alongside this year's quarterback class um, at Indianapolis. And uh, we run you through some drills and we have you do some combine GM interviews. Mm -hmm. um, so you're meeting with GMs, they're putting you on the hot seat. It's meant to be kind of a whirlwind. You're doing a press conference from there. So again, we wanted to sort of put you in these real authentic NFL moments, you know, red carpets, press conferences, um, the combine, the pro bowl, the college playoffs, all these things we haven't had in Madden before, but it's really about your story and having this, um, you know, NFL fantasy of being in the league or on your way to the league with real players. And, you know, you bump into Patrick Mahomes, you see Kyler Murray on the red carpet. It's, it's meant to feel like you were immersed in this year's um, path to the draft. That's awesome. That's really, really great. I mean, you have the NFL draft. You're going to have the NFL draft sequence. Um, and then you're also going to ultimately start your uh, career. Um, and then, you know, that's face the franchise right there. And we have, like, here's, like, a little um, a scene from the game of you going through that NFL uh, draft sequence. So if you want to talk a little bit about this and, Kind of like the mindset behind it and the creation of all this. I think there's a lot of reasons to replay it and get the perfect career set up. Yeah. Um, maybe try a different archetype. So the choices, I think, do make it really special. And then once you kind of go through the you know, face of the franchise, what's next? Well, then you're you're headed into the, you know our our mode that said it's franchise mode. Mm -hmm. But because you played through this experience, um, you have a storyline. Mm -hmm. A uh, specific storyline based on where you've landed, where you were drafted, um, the type of quarterback you are, your choices do matter. And we're handing it over to what we're calling the scenario engine, which Hughes, one of our senior designers, is going to come up and talk about. But that is our way to extend a story. It's a, more of an RPG. Um, some people have compared parts of it to NBA's The One, uh, but each, you know, 
week to week we're generating storylines that feel authentic to living the life of a star and represent more of the things you go through as a face of the franchise, the types of questions you'll be asked, the pressure that's put on you, and they have impacts on your team. You know, it could be morale, could be your ratings, could be your XP. So there's a lot of things to, to manage. And one thing I'm actually really excited about is the player progression. Um, because of the superstar abilities in X Factor, um, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun, you know, building your character. It'll be more like a game like Spider-Man, where it's almost like a loadout. You might have unlocked this thing Patrick Mahomes has, but it's just not right for the way you play. Yeah. And you might unlock a different thing and try that on like a Tom Brady t ability that might more suit how you play. So I think you're really going to feel like you're crafting a superstar instead of just getting better ratings. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Good stuff. Well, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to kind of get my hands on this. I know we've been playing a little bit around the office right now, and, and you know, you guys are, like, hammering day in, day out, and I know Hugh's going to come up here and talk to us a little bit, you know, a lot more about the scenario engine uh, that you brought up. He's going to kind of give those intricacies and how all that works. So, man, Mike, thanks so much for coming on the stream. Yeah, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. I'm sure we'll see you around the studio, maybe kind of walking down the halls in the future streams and whatnot. But, uh, again, really thank you so much for your time, and I uh, really appreciate all the work that you and your team are doing. So I know thank this you. is some stuff that you guys, you're hearing the community, some stuff they want to do. And, and, you know, it's baby steps, but we're heading in the right direction, which is really exciting. Yeah, I hope they believe that. I think we're really committed to franchise, franchise depth, um, and, you know, authenticity and these immersive experiences where um, there's storylines that are about how you're playing and the, react the game's reacting to you and your choices. Um, so I think it's exciting. Good stuff, man. Well, awesome. Thank you so much, Mike, for coming through. Really appreciate it. Thank and you. we're going to go ahead and bring out Hugh Shelton. Uh, he is a senior designer uh, on the franchise team. Uh, some people say he's the lead of franchise. Uh, other people say he is the god of franchise. So um, we have Hugh here right now. Good stuff. Hello. Hugh, thanks for coming, man. Really appreciate it. I know it's uh, been a long day for a lot of folks, but we're here right now going to uh, get into this. Uh, so Scenario Engine, you know, Mike brought it up. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about that. Can you elaborate on the Scenario Engine and how that kind of plays a factor in the game? Yeah, I sure can. First, I just want to say I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be talking about the game. Yeah. We have been working on it for a long time. We've got a lot of people on this team that are super passionate about building the best experience that we can for our players. Yeah. And there's a lot of work going into delivering this. And it's just really great that we are now getting to share some of this. Um, every year, people are looking forward to what, hearing what we have to say. And I'm glad that I'm now part of the team that's getting to deliver that message to our users. That's awesome, man. Well, yeah. great stuff. Yes. So what we'll do is uh, we'll talk like, right here. We have a screenshot. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, talking about the Scenario Engine, go, go ahead and elaborate a little bit more kind of what's going on here. Yeah, sure. So Mike touched on this a bit, but as you are going through your franchise experience, and if that's either in player mode or if you're playing through coach mode, uh, you're going to be triggering these different conversations uh, based on what it is that you're doing in your season. Mm -hmm. So if you're having a really good season, uh, you might have some scenarios that are triggering that are based on the opponents that you're going up against. Got so it. we're adding in these new X factors, which everybody's going to hear a lot about going in our future streams. And we're going to highlight those guys. We're going to give a lot more identity to the teams that are in franchise mode and the players that are in franchise mode. So you're going to, as a coach, let's say, you get a text message from your offensive coordinator. And he's going to say, hey, we're going up against J.J. Watt this week. And what are you, how confident are you in going up against this guy? Uh, we're going to let you choose what kind of objective that you want to take into your upcoming game. So are you, are you just going to win the game? Um, do you think that you're going to be able to avoid getting sacked at all that game? Uh, do you think you're going to be able to throw for 400 yards that game? Um, and based on that, you get better rewards based on your harder decision. And also, if you go in and you complete that goal, if you're having a rough season, like if you're, if you're struggling, we're yeah. actually going to reward you some more XP than if you're having a really stellar season. Got it. Uh, one thing that we notice uh, with our players is that a lot of time, especially in single-player mode uh, franchises, uh, if somebody is having really dominant seasons, uh, they just kind of 
they just continue to have dominant seasons. Yeah. And then the people that are struggling, they don't really ever get the help that they need. And this is a way, this, this new scenario engine is a way that we can kind of bridge that gap for people. Uh, and that's just one example of it. Another one is um, in franchise mode, you often are used to drafting a player maybe in the later rounds, let's, let's say the fourth or fifth or sixth round. And they come out and they have a, a lower OVR and they have a lower development trait and they never really turn into much throughout mm -hmm. their career. These scenarios are now gonna allow us to have these breakout player story arcs where one of these guys that you drafted later on in the draft um, has a good game, he, he is recognized for having that good game, and then you get a goal to get him the ball even more in your upcoming match, yeah. and then he could break out. He could get a lot of XP, he could increase his development trait, and uh, again, this is all tied to kind of how your season is going and who you're who you're playing with on your team. Yeah, so I mean, I, from a ratings perspective, I know that's like a you know big question. I know there's dynamic and static you know quests that are going to be out there, and, mm -hmm. and can you talk a little bit about the the dy the dynamic and static quests that are going yeah. On? So the dynamic scenarios that are coming up are kind of the ones that I talked about. So the breakout player, you have to do something for, for sure. that to trigger, or the X Factor boss battles, like that's specific to a player that you're going up against. And that's, as you're going through many years of franchise mode, when we, you, when we generate new players, uh, new rookies that have that X Factor dev trait, um, I actually want to touch on that a little yeah, bit later. Yeah, no, I, I, I know, you, I know where you're yeah, going, yeah, I'll, so I'll, I heard I'll about come that. Back to that. So, yeah. I'll come back to that. But the, even those generated players that turn into X-Factors later on, um, you'll get these scenarios about those guys. So it. It, those are dynamic. The ones that we're considering more static are, a lot of them are tied to your first season and face of the franchise. And even when we say static, it's not completely static. The, uh, the text that you're having in these conversations, uh, the types of situation that you find yourself in are based on that prologue story and it's also based on your performance during that season. But the, what is static about them is that they're kind of set to fire in certain weeks. So we know that it's going to fire in preseason week one. You're going to have a preseason uh, position battle as a Got quarterback, it. regardless okay. of where you get drafted. Got it. So like new scenarios and whatnot you know, are, are things that are going to be happening kind of in random situations. Yeah. The dynamics are a little bit more not necessarily random. Like we, we're triggering them for specific reasons. Um, but then you have the other ones that are kind of set to set weeks. Okay, and I know you touched a little bit on development abilities. You know, you want to expand upon that just a little bit? Uh, development ability, de development traits, yes. Sorry. Yeah, so we've updated our development trait system going into this year. I know we did a pass last year, and we normally wouldn't have wanted to update it again so soon. Mm -hmm. But we're adding in these X-Factor abilities. We're adding in the, the superstar abilities. And so we're tying those new abilities to these de development traits. Uh, so now you have your X Factor Superstar development trait as the top one, your Superstar dev trait as the second, your Star as the third, and then Normal as the fourth. Um, players are still going to be able to move up and down development traits at the end of a season, uh, but as I mentioned, now you're going to also have scenarios that can kind of have that happen mid-season, okay. which makes things a lot more interesting. Um, we're also supporting our rookies in a different way. And this is one that I'm excited about. I I'm think that we're gonna continue to go down this path more in the future, but let's say you do draft a rookie that is either a uh, superstar or an X Factor, you're not gonna know which he is right away. He's gonna have a hidden development and okay. he's also not gonna have his abilities. So you're gonna have to play with him for uh, quite a while, maybe like half a season somewhat until you unlock what that development actually is and then when you find out what his abilities are. Yeah, that part's pretty exciting. It kind of adds like a, you know, you're, you're sitting there and it's a surprise and delight as you're going through and, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that you have to really think about, you know, when you're drafting your players and it's kind of like a, it keeps your interest in there, like you know, who's going to unlock later on down the yeah. season based on their performance. Um, good stuff. So um, ratings tunings and things like that. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about that in, uh, in the mode. Yeah, so this year uh, the ratings guys have taken on a pretty massive effort into uh, rebalance how we're doing our ratings. Um, they've stretched them out greatly. And this means things like, uh, to give people some example of the scope of these changes, uh, we probably have around 400 less players that are at 70 OVR or higher. I think this is something that uh, people are going to have to get used to. It, mm -hmm. It's They're going to be surprised to come into the mode and see that some of their starting players are in the 50 OVR range. Uh, this does a lot of cool things for gameplay and for your experience playing through franchise. 
uh, your players are going to progress longer. That you have a, a longer runway to get them to the top now. Um, and it also makes the difference between some of our players even greater than it has been before uh, in terms of, let's say, a player that is 79 OVR going up to 80 OVR. When you make that upgrade, uh, he's going to gain a lot more rating points than he has in previous years because we actually are, are using a wider range of weight, ratings than we have before. And it's also going to mean that our star players, our superstars, stand out even more from our other players because the rating stretch is so big. That's good stuff. Um, yeah, so I also heard some stuff about coach mode. There's been some updates to coach mode as well. Yeah, so the scenar again, scenarios are going to be making coach mode even better. Uh, the rating stretch applies to coach mode. Uh, we are also taking some pretty heavy efforts in terms of updating our draft class generator. Uh, one of our designers on the team, Dave Searles, has been working really hard. He's, he's been a diehard fan of the mode for a, a very long time, and he's really he's taking all his passion. He's just putting in it yeah. get into there. We've got a wide range of new names uh, that are being generated, like as an example of like the kind of quality polish things that we get added in, uh, but we're also looking at the ratings ranges that we're getting out of these draft classes, and I think that people who are drafting in 20 are, they're going to have to learn some new things uh, to be able to draft effectively based, because people have kind of already figured out what it is that they need to do in 19. Got it, got it, good stuff. Um, you know, so I, I feel like the, um, I, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'll bring it out there. Uh, so, like, draft updates, how are those going to work out in the, in the game this year? Um, so, somewhat of what I just mentioned a little bit about we're going to have a little bit more variety in terms of the players that you're drafting, their mm -hmm. names, information about them, what their ratings are, the hidden developments on rookies that are superstars or X-Factors. Um, those are some of those changes. Um, we're on the Going back to your previous question, mm -hmm. though, where you're just asking, like, what about tuning for the whole mode? Yeah. Um, we're looking at a lot of the systems that already exist inside a franchise. So um, re-signing your players. There's some exploits out there where you can do some things to the contract length or how much you're offering for a salary or a bonus um, that really isn't what we want it to be. So we've gone in and we've, we're updating the logic there to kind of s avoid those and make it a more authentic experience for people. Uh, that's one system that we're, we're touching. We're also looking at trades, how we're valuing players going into trades. We see a lot of feedback from people of not being fully happy For with sure. uh, what trades are accepted or not. Uh, that's going to be an ongoing effort. It, it's a pretty complicated space when we're dealing with uh, players' ages, we're dealing with their OVRs, we're dealing with the needs of the teams, we're dealing with how many players are in the league. We're trying to cram a lot, and that's just part of it uh, into the mode. Okay. So okay. quick, so we got a screenshot right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Walk me through a little bit, because you, know, you see different colors and you see different kind of things, and it looks like a mutt screen, but you guys have made some changes to the overall lineup this year. Uh, walk me through that. Yeah, so we've come in here. We have given users a full screen experience for managing their roster, which before has kind of been a scramps. Uh, a, uh, it was a, a tighter space. Yeah. Uh, we're doing that for a couple of reasons. Over on the right-hand side, you can't really see it, but when you when you tab over to that mm -hmm. with the thumbstick, it'll pull out this uh, panel, where, and that's where you manage your X-Factor abilities. Got it. Okay. So you can only ever have three X-Factor abilities active on offense at a time or only three X-Factor abilities active on defense at a time, uh, and that's where you're going to control it. Again, in next week's stream, I think you guys will get into that a little bit more. Yeah, we'll definitely be getting into the gameplay, uh, you know, into the Superstar um, X Factor ability stream next week. Uh, so we're really excited about that. So, you know, it's just something to kind of tune in and, and observe. Um, the next thing. Well, so oh, a ahead. couple more notes on the screen before we the move OVRs on. The OVRs are blurred out. That's the big okay. yes. Oh, that's the yes. big thing? Yes. yes. Awesome. Yeah. 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 yeah, the OVRs are blurred. Uh, also, if you see, we've added some color to the backgrounds of these players. This is going to make it a lot easier at a glance to tell which of your players have which development traits. Uh, and so if you have an X Factor, he's going to have a red background. Uh, a superstar is going to have a gold background. The players on this screen, those dev traits are still a work in progress. So these might not be the ones that we ship with either, just so that you know. Got it. No, that's great. I mean, you know, there's uh, we're saving a, a, a little thunder for later on yeah. to kind of show our players and whatnot. Um, so next up, what do we do? We have any more additional screenshots uh, that we're going to go ahead and share with the 
with our score. There we go. Let's take yeah. this at uh, scheme fits yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, so uh, we really have been trying to refresh a lot of the different areas of franchise mode. I've touched on some of them already. Uh, scheme fits is another space. This was something that we added in last year, and we're we're making it better this year. We're going in, we're adding some new schemes uh, that give you better personnel variety that you can set up your team with. We're also going in at some of the existing screens. <laughs> Mike is taking a picture of me <laughs> off stream right now. He's throwing me off. Thank you, Mike. Uh, we're also updating some of our existing schemes that were already in Madden 19 just again to kind of give a better variety of positions that have schemes that they can fit or a, a better variety of archetypes player archetypes that fit the various schemes um, we're also looking at our XP progression and that's a really big one that I didn't touch on when you're asking about tuning of the mode we really are reevaluating all of the sources of XP that come into the mode and scheme fits are one of the biggest ones right now. We went really heavy handed last year in terms of how much XP we give you if you're a scheme fit. And it made it really hard for players to build teams uh, with players that did not fit that scheme fit. Got it, yeah. And we know that we, we want to continue to improve this system year over year. Uh, and once we get some better flexibility in terms of uh, the variety of positions that are assigned to an individual slot, let's take wide receiver wide receivers for example right now our schemes support one archetype for a wide receiver um, we know that that's not as flexible as we'd like to have in the future so in order to kind of prevent people from feeling like they always have to go for a deep threat if they have uh, a scheme with the deep threat receiver on it uh, we've taken that xp buff that used to be 15 percent 50 percent and taken it down to 10 percent. so you're still going to want to get players that match your schemes but it's not going to be so limiting that you can't build a more uh, versatile team Awesome. Uh, talk to me about the Pro Bowl. Uh, that was one of the things yes. that we were talking about. Yeah. So we see a lot of images out there, and people are hyped about that. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's one of the, it is the first experience that you're going to see when you come into Madden uh, as a whole. But in franchise mode, it's actually a really exciting moment now at the end of the season. If you have been selected to either coach the Pro Bowl or play in the Pro Bowl, you get to now play on the field with all these other guys that are at the top of their game for your most recent franchise season. And what really makes it special is all these new abilities that we've just added to the game. Mm -hmm. um, when you play through your normal franchise games, unless you do some fishy stuff, you're probably going to have a team that only has a handful of X-Factors and superstars. In some cases, you might not have any X-Factors on your team. But when you get to these Pro Bowls, the whole field is going to be covered in these guys. And it it really makes it feel different than we've seen in previous years at the end of the season where before all you would get is just a list of players. No. And another thing that's really awesome for this in multi-user leagues, which I've fallen in love with multi-user leagues ever since joining the franchise team, uh, is that we are setting it up so that if at the end of the season, is in coach mode, the tuning right now is you need to get six wins to be okay. able to be uh, picked for the Pro Bowl. Um, we're going to pair users up, players up against each other so that they can play head-to-head uh, -head matchups in their own versions of the Pro Bowl. So, again, this is something I'm really looking forward to at the end of my franchise seasons of playing against the other guys that are playing in the league. Uh, we're going to pair people up based on their record for the season, okay. and it's it's just a way of – it's going to be a fun – uh, a fun experience. That's awesome, man. Uh, so gameplay, I, I heard that also the gameplay effects were updated uh, mm -hmm. for uh, the uh, for franchise. Uh, gameplay effects? Uh, sorry. No, so like yes. throw power oh, over yeah, halls yeah, yeah, yeah. and QE so, directories. So some, some of the mechanics, uh, I think the gameplay guys will get into that a little bit more, but throw power is something that's been updated. Uh, it's the, traject the ball trajectory that we're seeing from some of our past types wasn't exactly what we wanted in last year. Um, again, I'm going to let the gameplay guys touch on okay. that a bit more, but it is coming. That's awesome. Great stuff. Uh, so, Hugh, thank you so much for coming through. Really do appreciate it. You know, um, uh, you guys are doing some amazing work. I mean, there's uh, a lot of things happening in franchise, also face of the franchise QB1. Honestly, the people that are still here in the office, I'm looking around, they're really the faces of the franchise, uh, just putting in those long hours to make things happen. So uh, thank you to the franchise team for doing all that they do, man. Yeah, thank you as well. Hey, thanks no for problem, man. Appreciate you. it. We're going to go ahead and bring back all of our in. Thanks uh, players. Yeah. Yeah, we'll close this thing in style, man. You crushed it, dude. Thanks. So. Good stuff. Awesome. Hey, what's up, man of the people? Not much, not much. Uh, 
a lot of activity in the chat. Let's have, uh, want to remind folks that the article is live right now. So if you miss part of this, if you missed the front of it, obviously um, you can go check out that blog. Hugh was on it. A lot of other members of the franchise team helped. Uh, they go in depth with everything that we talked about here and just kind of give you that uh, detail, right? Yeah. And then you've got folks making videos about all the new screenshots um, and stuff like that. A reminder, all that stuff is work in progress. I know we had the graphic on it, but that's something that we want to make sure we remind people to check out. No, and I think it's really great. I mean, you know, one of the things that we heard from the community is that you guys want information early and often. You kind of want an appointment set so you can kind of tune into what's going on. And, you know, the Gridiron Notes is going to be that place. You know, it's going to be that opportunity for us to, if we do a live stream, go back to the Gridiron Notes, capture that, give people more in-depth. Sometimes you can't cover everything on the stream. Maybe you can kind of cover it in an article or a blog, and that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah, and we have folks monitoring the chat. They're letting us know the feedback. And obviously, we're going to keep improving these as we go forward. So yeah, it's the first uh, one. You know, we've got the camera plugged in just in time. Just a little bit of excitement here because you need that on your Thursday night. So we're going to work on that. We're going to work on the audio. We appreciate you guys. We completely understand. And we're going to keep making this thing the best we can be uh, time and time again. So we do have more streams coming up uh, the rest of this season. Obviously, every Thursday at 7 p.m. are the key times. They hinted at some of the new stuff coming to X Factors. You know, it is going to affect franchise mode. That's across everything. So that's, sure. that's big to know. Um, and then, of course, the gameplay stream later. We have the ultimate team in two weeks. So... Big streams coming up. We appreciate everyone that tuned in, all the supporters out there. They were MDD and in the chat, and we had some new franchise-style viewers as well. So they'll yeah. be checking out uh, that blog tonight, and then they'll be checking out uh, Gridiron Notes tomorrow to break down more questions. We've got a full list. You can always tweet us your questions. We'll break them down, and uh, you'll get your answers that you need. The, the goal of this, like we said, it's not to be flashy. It's not to give you more sizzle. We're trying to give you some steak with all the information you want to know. Um, I think those guys did a great job with that tonight and really breaking down what you do. Stay. So. Yeah, you must be hungry. I can always eat. I'm n not actually ever really hungry, but I can always eat. Yeah, so uh, survey. I know we have a survey in the chat. Let's talk a little bit about that. You want to highlight that, uh, what's going on? Yeah, so right now in the chat, uh, you can take a survey. If there, There's a bunch of questions about how the stream was and, of course, uh, what you want to see in the future. So uh, what do you want to see in future modes? And then... At EA Play, we'll actually be revealing more about uh, the experience of QB1, the story. So you can pick uh, from what you want to learn about more next, and there's three choices there. So we'll drop that at EA Play. There will be a stream at EA Play. Uh, but take that survey. We'd love to know your feedback. Uh, it definitely helps us improve. As I said, we're going to keep getting better as these things go on. And uh, look forward to hearing your feedback. Yeah, no, really appreciate you guys taking the time to go do that survey. It really lets us know what we did well, you know, where we can improve, and get you guys that information you're looking for. Tomorrow on Madden Daily Drops, we're going to be monitoring uh, not only the chat, but social media, like you said. Uh, we'll get those questions, and we'll try to answer some of those tomorrow. You know, once we get that, definitely for sure, get them to us tonight. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk with the teams first thing tomorrow for the MDD stream, and then go ahead and have a conversation and say, hey, what can we talk about? What can we give more information to our players? And what so, yeah. yeah, and this may not be exactly what you're used to if you're not a regular MDD uh, viewer. You may be like, they, they did a lot of talking, um, but really that is ultimately the goal is to just have a dialogue with you and be able to get your questions and then be able to come back later, give you that feedback. So that's why we're here. That's why we do this, and we couldn't do it without you. So thank you for taking that survey if you have time. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next Thursday at 7 p.m. or tomorrow morning at 1030 to follow up with these questions, but then also to talk about the uh, X Factors next week. So Good stuff. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, we will see you next week or at 1030 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Saturday, uh, for our Madden Daily Drops. And again, here's the schedule. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon.